How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at creepy antique automatons. You know those disturbing old toys that were meant to bring joy to children but are instead absolutely terrifying? Yep, those ones. So sit back, relax and enjoy. When it comes to disturbing decorative objects, they don't come much creepier than the dead eyes and jerky movements of an antique automaton. These mechanical marvels can be beautifully crafted and are highly sought after by collectors, but that doesn't stop them from giving us the heebie-jeebies. Here are 10 of the most sinister examples. This rare monkey patissiere musical automaton made by Roulet et de Camps circa 1885 was one of several made in the late 19th century inspired by the French nursery rhyme Le Mère Michel in which a chef cooks his neighbour's cat. Hmm. This French musical automaton was made circa 1880, possibly by Philibois of Paris, and features a sinister looking clown magician who makes his head vanish before it reappears in a box beside him. This coin operated Jolly Jack Laughing Sailor automaton was made in the late 20th century based on the original 1950s design by British manufacturer Bolland, who made the machines for penny arcades in seaside resorts. All I know is I don't want this thing anywhere near me. This life-size seated paper mache figure is dated circa 1920 and was likely created as a store advertising figure by the Mechanical Man Corp in New York. This clockwork smoking monkey automaton was originally sold by the French luxury retailer Louis Vuitton, and it featured an internal set of bellows which would smoke a lit cigarette when placed in the holder. It was sold by Treadway Gallery in 2006 for $3,500 US dollars. This musical automaton by French company Roulet et de Camps dates from the late 19th century and features a winged clown teasing the moon with a beetle on a string. It was one of many automatons of the era to depict the moon with a human face, a popular image which later inspired George Melly's famous silent film Voyage dans la Lune in 1902. It was sold by auction team Brecker in 2015 for 34,000 euros. Made by the French company De Camps at the turn of the 20th century, this promenading pig featured in a Christmas advert for the iconic London toy store Hamleys in 1900. It was sold by auction team Brecker in 2014 for a whopping 9,000 euros. This musical automaton entitled The Hypnotist was made by French manufacturer Henri Philibois circa 1910, and it features a magician placing his assistant into a trance and levitating her through a hoop. It was once again sold by Team Brecker in 2013 for 28,000 euros. This 20th century musical automaton featuring a monkey in a powdered 18th century wig playing a spinet was originally owned by Ray Arnett, the American music producer famous for his work with Liberace. It was sold by Bonhams in 2014 for a mere 562 US dollars. This smoking mechanical moon faced gentleman was produced by the French manufacturer Vichy circa 1891 and is one of less than 10 examples known to survive to this day. It was sold by auction team Brecker in 2015 for an insane 110,000 euros. Well, hey, well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Just Collecting for helping out with this list. They're an awesome alternative to eBay for those of you who collect things. I highly recommend checking out their website. There's a link in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.